All right, my friends and neighbors, this is Tacoma Comics, and I am coming to you with a super short haul, uh, but a good one, which I then ruined. So I got a nice story to tell you here. Um, you, I've been doing lots of live videos because live is the way to go. Um, but uh, it's just um, this one's too short, right? You don't have time to chat to people unless you've got like an agenda and a list of things to go over in a panel. Just one person, by the time I got somebody on live here, um, <laughs> I'd be done with my haul. So I was at half price, but let me back up. You guys know I've been looking to buy a house, um, closing in on real one real close. Um, bam, right there. So we'll get the comics out of storage, get them set up soon. Things are looking good. Cautiously optimistic. Got a good phone call today, but you guys don't need to hear all about that. Basically, what I told my um, LCS is I went in there today. I, I missed the last two weeks, and so I had a stack of books like that. And, you know, I, I put a small dent in it like that. I'm like, you guys just hold it for me. They know I'm good for it. Uh, they're really good people. Atomic Comics, shout out. Atomic Comics in Tacoma, really good people. They know when I when I say hold it, I'm on vacation for three weeks or hold it, I'm a little tight right now. Um, they'll hold it and I'll come back and buy it all. Basically, we're just holding off money because we might have to do another inspection and we might have to get our sewer fixed. I'm waiting to hear back from the city on who's responsible for what part of uh, breakage in the sewer. Um, that's all, all neither here nor there. So didn't get a lot of new comics, though. I stopped by my LCS. Half Price Bookshop is across the street. And they got like their 40% off today, 50% off Sunday. It's like they do a week of um, three or four times a year. They do a week of 10, 20, 30, 40, 40, 50, Monday through Sunday. Um, each day is a little bit better. So I just went to see what they had. And I knew I wasn't supposed to spend a lot. So I was being really good. Excuse me. They didn't have much. And I had like three books in my hand. And they were all cheap. They weren't worth getting 40% off because they were super cheap anyway. And then, um, wow, a guy comes by with a short box and... He starts putting stuff away. He's a worker. He starts putting stuff away in the clearance section. I'm like, hey, are you just putting stuff in clearance? He's like, oh, no, no, no. I got a whole box of um, stuff to put away. I'm like, do you mind if I look over your shoulder as you're putting it away? And he's, he says, oh, no, go on. You know, He's really cool about it. But then he was like, uh, why don't you um, just look at the box first? So he, he handed me the box, and Beginner is a whole bunch of um, Sixes, Avengers versus X-Men, Avengers Assemble, a bunch of Avengers stuff. Um, a few things, and then I, I get up to C, and I see Chew number one, first print. I'm like, wow, I wonder what that's going for. Dollar fifty. I kid you not, a dollar freaking fifty for Chew number one. Um, and then I'll show you in a little bit. I screwed it up. I got so excited double checking that it was first print as I was walking through the aisle over to get my son and tell him I was ready to check out and purchase. And my sons always go, my older son goes straight to the anime section and my younger son goes straight to the like young reader section. Um, and they just both sit there in a chair let me look through the comic books. I open it up. I take it out. It doesn't say second printing, but sometimes they don't. So, I, but I'm thinking the the red writing is the first printing. They changed the color of the writing for all the printing. So I'm pretty sure it's first print. As I put it back, the tape catches. And I have the tiniest, tiniest little tear on what looked to be a near mint copy of Chew Number One. Um, so, dollar fifty, I'm still going to get that, and you know, no way, I'm not going to get that. But it's not the the amazing mega find that I thought it was. It's still a pretty good. Find it, it puts me down to since I found Morning Glories number one a couple weeks ago. It puts me down to uh, just wanting Why the Last Man is like my recent indie stuff um, where I, I need number one. Right, I've already got number one of 100 Bullets, uh, Lock and Key. So all the big indie series that I you know started collecting after the fact when I got back into comics, I've almost got them all now. So uh, let's take a look at this haul without any more talking. Two bucks. Um, I've got one and two. It's not the greatest series. It's not the worst series, but I'm a Star Wars fanatic, and you know I like to complete the series that I got. So I got that at the LCS to show some good faith. I did pick up a couple things. They had this variant. Um, they were going ten bucks on it. You know my LCS doesn't do a lot of invariants, um, and they don't do you know especially the incentive stuff. And they do mark them up, but they don't like change their price on a daily basis according to um, eBay's but they'll put the these at like 10 bucks each so I like that when I saw it I think Longbox Love Affair posted that on on um, uh, 
Instagram, I was going to say Imagegram, I couldn't think of the word. So, wow, super glare. So, I uh, really thought that was pretty cool. Um, more of an introspective look at X-23, not like trying to make her into this super sexy killer. Um, so I kind of dug that. I, I dug the design variants. Pretty cool. Um, one comic that I, I can't tell you enough about, and I've been trying to build it up more and more and more and more and more, is Highest House, this oversized um, book from Mike Carey and his partner in crime, whose name just slipped my gross, right? Carey, uh, Peter Gross, yeah, who does art and lettering. And Fabian Alquier, who's the colorist, um, just again an absolutely beautifully drawn comic, oversized. Uh, I would say common story, but told extremely well. Right, peasant boy makes good in a magical kingdom of of magic and powers of bad guys and evil and stuff. There's the highest house there, and as you scroll along, there's the cover for the next issue. I assume. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. I, I cannot love this enough. Um, the oversized format's becoming a pain in the butt with um, bags and boards. I'll take it. So, here we go. Bam, it's the red writing, so it is number one. And you probably can't see anything wrong with it. Took the tape off. <laughs> I already took the tape off. Right there. Tape pull. So what I'm going to do is someday I'm going to meet my friends John Lehman and Rob Guillory. I call them friends because anybody who's kept me um, that entertained is a friend. I'm going to meet them and have them sign right over that poll. Not to like cover up this stuff, but just to cover it up. I mean, not to try to pretend it's something it's not, but uh, just to cover it up. So the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest of non-color breaking, I'd say, just creases. I don't even know if you can see them. I can't see them. Look at my computer. There's like, no, that's that's a line in the art, right? Yeah, that's a line in the art. But like, right there is a little dent. I know it's 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 minor stuff. This is still probably clocking at like a nine or a nine two um, before my rip. Now it's probably like an eight eight or something. Um, down there, corner is not perfect. So we weren't talking about a nine eight. But we were talking anywhere from a, a 9.0 to a, a 9.4 before I attacked it savagely with a piece of tape in the bag. And again, that's, um, you can't see it, but that's, that's the, the artwork. That's not a stain or anything. Um, but it's there. It's still beautiful. It will go into Mylar with a full backing board when I get my stuff out of storage. Um, treat it real nice. Don't crease it as you're putting it in. Pick it up. Slide it. Make sure you're not folding the corners. Let it slip down. Okay. Shoe number one, ladies and gentlemen, for a dollar fifty and half price books. Fools, 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 fools. Shoe number two, for a dollar fifty at half price books. I will open this up. I will take that tape off. <laughs> Boom. Put that off to the side, and then I will double my books as I usually do to prevent spine creasing. That is another. Gorgeous issue. That's even better. There, I don't see any spine ticks at all. And I'll put that in the back. And you know, I, I'm sure you all know this, but hey, in case I've got a newbie listening, right? There is the spine of one. The spine, because it's where the staples are and it's where the paper's folded over, is always going to be thicker. When you've got 200 books in a box and you've got all the spines lying on each other, they tend to go on an angle, they don't lie flat, and you tend to get a spine crease right over the staple. This line down here can crease if you let comics sit long enough um, with their spines all lined up. So I always double up my comics like this, put them in a short box, never a long box. Because even a long box, this will become a problem. And I always try to decrease that spine crease um, from happening to whatever extent is possible. So that was one and two for $3. Issue four for $1.50 for total four fifty. I think I already have like three and four. I checked my list. I keep on my phone and I, I didn't update my chews. So I might be repeating like, I don't think I had two, but I might be repeating four and six. Uh, but what the hell, for $1.50 each, 
right? I'll grab these. And there's number six. Well, this is the start of the second arc. Um, if you ever read the story, it's a really good story. I mean, I'm not just getting it because it's like, wow, I'm trying to collect a popular comic, right? I could go and spend money on Spider-Man 797 when it came out and whatnot. But uh, I love... Uh, I love Chu. Chu was just written so incredibly well, and the artwork was so, um, so I can't say so unique because that's using a modifier. The artwork was unique. Um, the stuff that they do there, uh, really fabulous. Just, just fabulous and fascinating. Um, exaggerated features, angular features. Um, skinny legs and arms, oversized bodies, kept it consistent throughout, this really super consistent look, um, beautifully drawn in the story, is <laughs> just incredibly crazy and weird and wonderful. Um, if you haven't read Shoe, go grab the, the um, paperbacks or the oversized hardcover trade, oversized hardcover trades, those are amazing to read because you see this art really blown up large. Um, just an amazing story. I have did not pick up Farmhand. I'm going to have to get that. Um, I didn't grab my LCS in time, so they're not even holding it for me. But Farmhand is the new series by one of the creators of Chew. Um, and I believe it's somehow connected to Chew, but I'm not. There's a bit of dust on the screen. I'm not positive, um, so we'll see. Last comic I got, Luke Cage number one. Mainly got it because David Walker, who I like a lot from his work on Shaft, um, He's going to be at Nighthawk, Shaft and Nighthawk. He's going to be at Rose City Comic Con in September, which when I got my tickets felt like a long way away. Now it's two months away. So really excited for these pickups, excited for all these books. Um, man alive, chew number one, and then I've ruined it. Look, I'll show you what I did here because I'm a super whack job. Uh, right, that's, wow, that looks worse when I do it up close. That's what, came, that's my table right there. So I just took that off the table. It's a laminate table, but right, I can't do this backwards, sorry. Right over here, that's what I ripped off the comic, all right there. So that's like much, mm -hmm. nine, four, nine, two, nine, zero, eight, eight. <laughs> uh, and no way you can get that back on, right? That, that's a, a physical tear, you can't, you can't get that back on. So like I said, I'll try to get him to sign it sometime. If not, I'm not, sweating it. It's not like I paid $50 and ruined the book. I paid $1.50 and ruined the book. So whatever. It's all good. Um, it is hot as crazy. One of the reasons that we're, we're moving is because we live in a uh, a house that does not have all... It's got beautiful bay windows, but it does not have a lot of openable windows, right? So that kind of makes no sense. You want houses with windows open, right? So like that out there, I hope you saw that and I did that right. Um, got a lot of beautiful windows like that in the home, but not a lot of windows that open for airflow. Uh, no, no central air. Um, so yeah, we needed to get a little bit of a different house. But anyway, Babylon about home buying forever because that just drives you crazy. But I don't want to do that because this is my comics channel. So let's see. Uh, Comics with Euler, I still got to hit you up with uh, with my video. I'll probably show that Chew comic again for first appearances of, of everybody that's in Chew. Um, he's got a great contest going on. I'm trying to find my old concert tickets to show you like my favorite um, bands of the 80s or bands from high school, which for me was the 80s. A lot of other great contests going on. I honestly haven't even looked at them because I know I don't have a lot of comics or a lot of time right now to, to go through them. So if I'm missing out on you, I apologize. Uh, so, uh, let's see how good I can edit that together. I just, I hit the stop button. I accidentally leaned on the keyboard. Last thing I was going to say was this Friday night, New York Warriors have an auction coming up. And then on Sunday, Alex, the comic quarter has one. If you haven't been on their auctions, they're usually great places to get good comics for cheap money. Um, absolutely suggest checking them out. They're, they're really good guys. Fun time. You know, you get to sit in the chat and, Goof about comics for a while, talk to people with like-minded interests, and sometimes somebody will come up with like a, a great package of comics. You're like, wow, that's really awesome. I wanted that one. And you start the bidding. You're like, holy cow, I'm getting this for a lot cheaper than I'd go on eBay. And on the seller side, you know, they're probably selling them for less than they go on eBay, but they don't have to pay the eBay fees, right? So that's where why the these auctions organized by the comic book community really work out well. So for example, I sold um, my last set of Captain Marvel 14 and 17. 
on eBay for like 200 bucks and I sold I know, some other book for like uh, 100 bucks. So I had $300, right, in my PayPal account. But then at the end of the month, eBay hit me with the fees and those fees were, I think like $35 or something. And it, it might, I'm not exactly sure, right? So I'm giving you some average amounts. But that takes $35 out of what you just, uh, what you just made. So I said like say 200, $300, let's bring it down to 265. Um, I'd much rather spend that, that, you know, two six, I'd much rather get 265 for those comics from somebody not on eBay. And the way to do that is, or one way to do that is with these comic book auctions. So, um, and you know, the, the YouTube comic book community, you guys, we're a pretty small community, right? Uh, the, the biggest of us have several thousand followers. The smaller ones of us are just starting out. I'm at 198, 199. I'm really close. Um, I'll tell you, I was at like 185 and I made a comment about like uh, politics and what's going on in the world with like the, the separating children um, from their parents when they're crossing the border and seeking asylum. I said, any motherfucker who, think that, who thinks that's right, stop watching my channel, unsubscribe to me because I don't want you following me. I'm not here for you. We're not agreeing. You're just wrong. And I lost three or four and I gained like 10 or 15. So I think I'm doing the right thing. Um, keeping politics out of your channel. I mean, it's not about politics, but I'm not going to lie about who or what I am or what I believe, you know, fuck Trump and fuck all that bullshit. That's just where I'm coming from. Um, straight up, that's how it is. So love you all. If I lose you, I understand. Um, do what you got to do. But uh, hopefully you'll be around for the, the next haul, which should be a bigger one. I right, talk to you guys later. Bye.